Hello everyone, my name is Maria Elena and I'm the person behind Hellenica.com. If you are interested in videos on Greek mythology, the Greek language and Hellenism in general, feel free to subscribe, you will find plenty of interesting videos. Last time we followed Odysseus in the Kingdom of the Dead and we learned how he was able to save himself from the Sirens, Scylla and Charybdis. What will happen next? Today we will cover the fourth part of Homer's Odyssey. Make sure to stay till the end and comment down below your thoughts after watching this video. The 13th book of Odysseus' journey starts in present time, with the Ithacan king finishing narrating his adventures in front of the people of Phaeacia. The hospitable islanders sympathized with Odysseus and they offered him a boat ride home along with various gifts and resources. Odysseus thanks King Alcinous and the rest of the Phaeacians and gets on board. The boat finally arrives at Ithaca the next day while Odysseus is asleep. The Phaeacians leave Odysseus on the shore and return to their peaceful island. Soon enough, though, Poseidon notices that they have helped Odysseus reach Ithaca and he gets filled with anger. After asking permission from Zeus, God Poseidon turns the Phaeacian ship into stone few moments before it arrives in the harbour. As a result, the ship sinks and the Phaeacians, who helped Odysseus reach Ithaca, were never seen again. King Calcinus realized that helping Odysseus enraged the gods and swore to never help strangers ever again. At the same time, King Odysseus wakes up and finds himself on the land he could not recognize. Goddess Athena appears in front of him as a shepherd and explains to him that he is indeed in Ithaca and that his people need him. Odysseus at first tries to conceal his identity. The goddess reveals her identity to him and advises him to use his tricks elsewhere and, to be more precise, to eradicate the suitors who conspire against him and his son. To protect him, she transforms him into an old man and leaves Ithaca to go find Telemachus in the Peloponnese region. The transformed king of Ithaca follows Athena's advice and hides into a hut that belongs to Evmeos, a local farmer and loyal friend of Odysseus. There he meets Evmeos, who not only feeds the transformed Odysseus, but confesses to him how much he misses the king of Ithaca and how much he detests the men who have taken over his palace, trying to convince Penelope to marry one of them. Odysseus promises Evmeos that his beloved king will return. His own identity is not revealed yet. He narrates a different story regarding his background and finally learns that his son is in danger since the suitors are conspiring to kill him. Once their night arrives, Odysseus sleeps in the hut and Evmeos tends to his herd. While Odysseus sleeps, Goddess Athena finds Telemachus in the Peloponnese region and urges him to travel back to Ithaca to prevent his mother from marrying a suitor. She warns him of the dangers he might face and suggests that he visits Evmeos first and let him visit Penelope to announce his return. As he leaves, an eagle flies off, holding its prey. Is this a sign, like we've seen on the first part of the video series? Back in the hut, Odysseus learns about the death of his mother and how lonely his father Laertes is. Evmeos then narrates his own story. He was abducted by pirates when he was a child. King Laertes purchased him to save him, and Odysseus' mother raised him as her own child. 
While the farmer narrates his story to the transformed Odysseus, Telemachus arrives on the island. The young prince of Ithaca reaches Evmeo's hut, where he is greeted by the friendly farmer and is introduced to his father who had the appearance of an unrecognizable old man. Odysseus soon understands that his son does not feel confident enough to stand against the suitors. With Athena's intervention, Odysseus regains his appearance and reveals his true identity to his son. The men embrace and cry together. United, they can eradicate the hundreds of suitors that roam the palace. Father and son spend the whole night talking and coming up with the right plan that can help them regain power over their palace. Will they succeed? Can father and son win against hundreds of suitors? If you are interested in hearing the rest of the story, don't forget to subscribe, it is completely for free. Also, if you enjoyed watching this video, feel free to like, comment and share with a friend. Now, before you go, I need to make an important announcement. In case you don't know this already, Hellenica offers a complete video course for learning Greek. Well, if you're a subscriber, you can now benefit from this a lot. You can watch the course with a discount just by clicking on the link in the description down below. Last but not least, feel free to check Hellenica shop where you will find some unique Greek inspired artwork, tote bags, reusable bottles and notebooks. They're all designed by me. So, bye for now and hopefully I will see you in the next video.